What's going on, Altcoin Army? This is Steve from Altcoin Buzz, and I've got a couple things I wanted to cover today. One is that you guys have been hounding us for a couple weeks, it seems like a couple weeks, at least in this space, to talk about 0x, and we haven't done it yet, to my knowledge, so we're going to get into that. Also, I wanted to give you kind of an interim update on how I'm personally doing on the $100 Altcoin Challenge, in case you guys dove into that when we announced that um, right around the new year. So if, you're, if you weren't familiar, basically we're doing a fun $100 altcoin challenge and it was a hypothetical. If you put $100 in altcoins um, on the 1st of January and how much you put into it, what would it be on January 31st? And you weren't allowed to sell it or trade it during these 31 days. That way we could just see in this midterm what would happen. Because we anticipated it to be a big bull run, so I don't really think that too many people who pit, made choices should have really lost money and a lot of you guys probably haven't even fully realized your gains whether you just took uh, the hundred bucks and did it hypothetically on paper or on a spreadsheet or whether you actually did it in real life so we'll give an update on that and we might dive into some of you guys comments on the channel and find out what we can do so let's get started this is steve with altcoin buzz let's have some fun guys so zero x this is something you guys have been telling us about it's recently had a nice run it's taken, um, basically taking a cue from the market and taking a run with it. So you look back and it was flat when the market was flat and its price pretty much mimics the entire market cap of cryptocurrency space. So that's good to see because I think it's on trend. And it's got a nice, strong, healthy market cap of over half a billion dollars. So it's definitely not a minor coin. Um, it's got an interesting name, 0x. And I guess that has to do somewhat with the fact that it's like an open protocol, but they have a 1 billion coin total supply and a little less than half of those are currently circulating. So I don't know if the if the max supply is also a billion or if that's just the total supply there with the possibility to mint more of them. But so that's an interesting market trend. Let's take a look at where they're traded. They're traded on a lot of places. I didn't see Bittrex on here, but no fear they're on Binance and Poloniex, um, hit BTC and there's some others on there. Lots of different exchanges, Mercatox and some others, Ether Delta if you're doing smart contract swaps. And this this is an ERC20 token that is um, really there to enhance all other ERC20 tokens that are built on Ethereum's uh, smart contract system. So that that's pretty neat. Now let's take a look at their social. Just real quick overview. Comment below what you guys really like about this program because you guys have been asking us to talk about it, so here we are. And we, we haven't really had an opportunity to dive in and have you guys tell us what you think is the best part about 0x. Obviously, we could all sit here and say, hey, let's, t you know, let's take this to the moon. you got little rocket ships in their social media to get people excited. There's a lot of activity happening on 0x. But as far as their project, when I dive in, I see a lot of potential. And we'll take a look at their website here in just a moment. But there's a little less information on there for a public-facing person and a lot of information there for people who are developers that want to build applications on their project. So it looks like as of today slash yesterday, they've exceeded $1 million in total 24-hour trade volume. Congratulations, guys. Um, so they have a lot of other stuff going on. They just hired, this was an announcement a couple hours ago, so they're active on social media. They posted 42 minutes ago. They posted three hours ago. This is on Twitter. So if you want to follow them, guys, they are at 0x project and you want to follow them on Twitter, follow them whether you're getting into them or not. It's usually a good idea to follow a lot of these coins because you catch wind about market conditions overall. And we'll find out here in just a moment that these guys are actually tied to a lot of other tokens that are on the market. So it'd be interesting to see what's good for the goose might be good for the gander. So they just hired a new guy who had previously worked at Apple and Facebook slash Instagram, and he's a Stanford grad. So California dude right there through and through. And he's working on the 0x project right now for the core team. So that could be big news. Sometimes for a coin, that's all that's needed to kick something off is someone coming in with big credibility. But you'll find out when we look at their team, this team is made up of what looks like a bunch of all-stars from a lot of different California startups. So real, real good stuff going on. Let's just dive into it. So they were announcing the one, was that $1 million of trade? But I'm seeing here... That must be on a certain um, exchange because if we look here on coin market cap, they're at almost $25 million traded daily, which I thought a million would have been odd for a $587 million coin, but I digress. So 
While I was researching them though, I did see that their price was going up. Now it's starting to trickle back down. It, it's probably just people taking some profits, presumably. I mean, although 20% gains in a day, that's good if you can get it day after day. But I, I can only imagine that people didn't just buy it this morning and trying to sell out for that little bit of a profit. Guys, hold on a little longer if that's what you're trying to do. So let's take a look at their website. It's clean, but it's very slim. It doesn't say a whole lot, but I think it gives an essence of what they're trying to do. So zero x is a protocol they have a token as well so zero x is a token that's in their in their system and they are powering decentralized exchanges so really what they're doing is they are a decentralized exchange that allows you to facilitate payments from person to person and to do it off of the blockchain which is an interesting concept and we're going to find that there's a lot of people a lot of other projects that are built on top of this. So look, look, these are projects that are built using the protocols from 0x. Any of these stand out to you guys? A few of them have been kind of newsworthy lately. We've got Aragon and Augur. Um, those stand out, but look at the other ones that are on here. So this is an entire list of 16 different, oh, that's just featured. So let's see that full list. Um, a little more boring list. I like it graphically represented, but so there, there's a few more that I guess weren't on there on the logo system but still these guys might be worth looking into because if all these other types of protocols are built on top of their system then these guys become a backbone a backbone that those other systems could become codependent on so that means that those other systems are going to need to use the 0x token during the use of these protocols and during these relays to be able to facilitate the use of their decentralized applications. So it's key to know that because a standalone business by itself can be really strong, but the moment that other businesses become codependent upon it means that it, it doesn't mean it can't fail, but it just means that it has that much more strength and staying power because it has the backing and, and growth of those other con companies behind it. Um, and those become dependent upon it. So basically they're saying that the world is gonna become tokenized rather than monetized. And, and I like the sense of tokens because um, the altcoin buzz team in particular, we're not all actually based out of the U.S. Jeff and I are based out of the U.S. and the other members of the team are based elsewhere. We've got members in New Zealand, um, Singapore, and in the U.K. And you guys in the altcoin army are based out of everywhere, pretty much. So just think how difficult it would be for us to exchange our common local currencies with each other, even if we have something like PayPal. Now we can actually pay each other for digital goods and services or, or physical if you want to mail it to me. And I can send that to you in a common currency, which would be one of these tokens that are on the market. That's why we like cryptocurrency so much. That, that and we've been making money with it. Am I right? So here's part of what the most interesting thing that I found on, on there. So they have three different exchanges that are basically re are relayers. There's ETHFINEX, which is like Bitfinex, at least by name, Radar, and Paradex. So... They have what's called an off-chain order relay. And then, of course, they have to settle it on-chain to be able to move the money between the smart contract system. But the 0x protocol allows you to send orders and, and receive those off the chain so you're not relying on taking up miners' space um, and the rest of the blockchain. And then the, you can pass it through relayers. So relayers are basically setting up a node, and I think they call it something else other than a node, a relay, I think is simply what they call it. But you're essentially setting up like a node and then you facilitate transactions and verifications like a miner would um, separately without having to put it actually on the blockchain itself. So that's quite interesting, but you would then do a final settlement. What this reminds me of is there's a few other protocols out there that are very similar to this where you're opening up side ledgers. You have the Lightning Wallet system and then you have the Plasma system, which is really just like the gas that surrounds Lightning. So it's trying to make it sound like it's fancier than that. But this seems to be a very similar type of protocol of which you're able to do off-blockchain off transactions and then bring it into a final settlement at the very end. So there's a lot, there could be a lot of use in that, especially in common trade partners. Um, in a common trade partner, think about an application. If you want to use an application that requires two-way information or even sometimes you might even need um, third-party information, It'd be a lot easier if you're going to do repeated queries and repeated um, calls to each other that you pass that back and forth, but you don't do it and rely on the blockchain for speed and all that stuff. Like how we saw CryptoKitties clogging up the blockchain and taking up 30 plus percent of Ethereum's mining um, power and resources. 
So being able to settle these things through a relay, which is like a miner, but it doesn't um, affect the Ethereum token trading, um, is going to allow application builders to have faster applications and also be more courteous to the ecosystem of tokens. So I, I do appreciate that. A lot of you guys probably should because this is one of those protocols that can help the scalability and practicality of tokens, of cryptocurrencies in general. So it is, it is meant specifically for those built on Ethereum, but most, you know, it seems like most of the 1,384 currencies that are on CoinMarketCap are based on ERC-20 anyway. So um, because it's based on Ethereum, it's a trustless exchange, but they have what's called shared liquidity. So this is part of their API allows these guys to create uh, liquidity pools, which I assume is very similar to a mining pool. I have not set one up. I probably won't um, because I'm not so much a developer. The mining that I do isn't done through like me writing custom queries and stuff like that. I do mining pools and stuff like that. Really for fun. I, I still am just kind of leery of that whole thing, but I realize the necessity for it in the blockchain space since we all rely on miners out there, and kudos to you guys. So it's open source. Anybody can take a look at it. In fact, if you go to their website, which is, if I haven't covered it yet, is 0xproject.com, and you'll be able to take a look at their APIs. Um, it's, it's just all laying out there for you to be able to learn how to read and write back and forth to it. So um, they're... Their building block, because it's decentralized, they're a building block for other decentralized applications. And you can learn more about that. And this is the these are the types of tokens that they look to help facilitate the growth and use of. You've got decentralized government, uh, governance, which is when people are using tokens for a voting system to rep, you know represent ownership, which would be kind of like shareholder voting. And then you have prediction markets and stable tokens, which would be tokens that really aren't meant for um, growth and investment, but more for utility and decentralized loans and fund management. So this, these are the types of markets that they've identified as people who would be very interested in utilizing the zero X protocol. And it appears they don't even charge for it, but let's go up and take a look at their team. If you really want to learn a lot about their stuff and you're willing to sit through their white papers there, you can read on their smart contract systems, look at their JavaScripts, look at everything else there and, and their API. Um, it's, this isn't the type of video where we go over that. Oh, didn't mean to click on wiki. Let's go to their about. So we saw on their Twitter announcement where they had just hired today or announced the hiring today of, of an ex Google or an ex Apple Facebook slash Instagram employee. And then that, that would be a, a big heavy hitter for most teams, but not to slight that guy, but take, let's take a look at the rest of the people that are on their team. Uh, we've got. Right over here, the co-founder and CEO was a PhD dropout, but he worked at Los Alamos National Lab. <laughs> okay, so think about the atomic bomb and things like that. Um, it doesn't really say what he did other than applied physics. Applied physics could be construed as blowing stuff up uh, because you're applying something physically. So that's an interesting term for um, explosives sometimes. Um, other times it's more just other types of science. You know, he's probably not trying to teleport himself to Mars. So then we've got this other other dude here working at DRW. I don't know what DRW is, but good for him. Um, some other engineers here. And then there, there are some guys. So this guy worked at Google and Amazon, Alex Zhu. Yeah, forgive me if I butchered your last name, but I tried. And then this guy here worked at Apple, graduated University of Cincinnati. So, you know, OH on that one. And then some of these other dudes here have been working on other social media platforms and other... Um, other big ones. Now look at their advisors. This should say a little bit of something about um, about the project, or at least the people they know, because sometimes it's all about who you know. But look who we've got left to right. The co-founder of Coinbase, founder of Polychain Capital, and the first person hired at Coinbase. Who's all? He's also an angel investor. Then you've got this guy at Pantera Capital. I don't know what that is, but the founder of Augur. So Augur is one of the other coins that's relying on the system. And then you have Linda, who is previously a project manager at Coinbase. So these people know the blockchain space and see the value in it. But more importantly, they're giving guidance. And Coinbase is a huge project. Three of the four advisors listed here are, are current or ex-Coinbase employees. So that means something to me. So that's something strong. Now, not to bore the crap out of you guys, but you can get into the wallet and stuff like that. But that's 0x in a real nutshell. I'm sure we missed some of the real in-depth possibilities and real-world applications of it. 
I didn't dive into all the 16 plus different tokens that are currently based on its protocols, but let's get to some more fun stuff. So earlier, which was like last week um, or over the weekend, we started up the $100 altcoin challenge for the month of January, and I wanted to give you guys a little fill in. So for those of you that didn't check it out, you can check out the $100 altcoin challenge video, and here were my picks. So we had gone in and went to spend 100 bucks. I came in one cent short, and I made my picks and spread it out across Sonom, Burst, Colex, and Vertcoin. This wasn't to say that these were guaranteed to be the most heavy hitters and big gainers. They certainly haven't been because we've seen a lot of strong ones in the bull run. But if you've just been curious how you might be pacing against me, I've currently gone up um, just over 25%. So give or take, obviously it'll fluctuate. But I feel like that's pretty good because we haven't even gone a week. And anytime you can make 25% return on your investment in that short of time across an average, congratulations. So comment below how you guys are doing on the altcoin challenge. And we'll try to stay up to date on that so that in, on January 31st, we'll figure out who the winner would be. And I think we've seen enough interest here that maybe we can do it as an official challenge um, with you know a contest amongst um, the altcoin army and get you guys in for some prizes or something like that. So don't hold me to it, but I'm really looking forward to bringing that type of fun to you guys. Um, so let's take a look at some of the other um, questions you guys might have had. You guys are hilarious sometimes, but let's go into some of our comments here. Some of you guys are salty too. I mean, you guys like, just because you have a different opinion than, than we might have from time to time, don't take it personal, man. It's it's not that we're um, trying to single you out or anything. In fact, we, we don't personally um, have a vested interest in whether you um, win, or, win or lose. We want to see everybody win, but, you know, if, if we sell and you hold, that's cool. And if um, and if you want to get on, in on a coin and we don't have time to get around to it, you know, maybe we miss out on a good one personally here. Um, but... You know, there's just a lot going on. So, <laughs> um, yeah, a lot, lot of salt going on with uh, Tron due to do the Jeff's um, announcement on that one. Um, he did a video on air swap. You know, some of the stuff, you know, Jeff and I are different people. We're into different things. Um, obviously, we're very like minded, but um, it's it's sometimes hard to tell you know what he's getting into because we don't we don't just piggyback off each other but um so you guys had some other other questions that went in here koval you guys are asking about haven't looked into that one so some of you guys didn't take take in on air swap that's cool you know no big deal um someone talking about tor so tor is one of those projects for privacy tokens that a lot of privacy tokens are on um, our chain you guys want us to check that out so let, let's go take a look at coin market cap let's get back into that one because another one you guys have been asking us to look into and we've been um, I can't say hesitant we've just been busy you guys have been asking about Ryblox so XRB and at first I thought maybe this was a typo about XRP because there's a lot of stuff going on about um, Ripple but so XRB which has a very similar ticker name it's already got four and a half billion dollars of market capital, which is utterly astounding given the fact that, to, in my opinion, it's not even really yet on any of the mainstream exchanges. So um, if you haven't checked it out yet, look into it. It's, you know, it's bouncing around an all time high, but maybe we'll get a more in-depth video for you guys. Comment below what your thoughts are. Let us know what other tokens you want us to check in on. Um, and finally got around to 0x for you guys, so hopefully you can appreciate that. We'll talk soon about some more stuff. This is Steve at Altcoin Buzz. Keep it real, guys.